So the Star Wars trailer premiered this last week, and Matthew McConaughey really liked it. I kind of didn't. And I hate him. So yeah, uh, this last week, uh, probably one of the biggest uh, life events in my life this last year happened, where uh, the teaser trailer number two came out for Star Wars, and... I actually did almost cry watching it. Uh, Star Wars has meant a lot to me growing up, uh, and seeing the trailer and seeing the new one like right on like the precipice of happening was something that was incredibly rewarding for me. Um, but then I found out that like every other sacred thing on the internet, people didn't like it, and that really bugged me. Well, for good reason. I mean, the trailer alone shows CGI, new spaceships, lots of clones. I think I've seen enough clones in Star Wars. Okay, first of all, we already know they're not clones because one of the stormtroopers is black. And I know that's a big buzzword these yeah, days. He's also got he's asthma He's also African-American. He's got so. asthma problems. He's always breathing super heavy. But, you know, like, just the fact that one of the stormtroopers is African-American is telling us that the Empire has started to recruit people outside of the clone army. So we don't know anything about that. There's no need, there's no necessarily any clones there. We don't know what's going on. This is the fall of the Empire, and we're cleaning up after Darth Vader and the Emperor are both dead. Um, the, uh, as far as new ships go, I mean, I didn't see, what new ships did you see? It's not so much the new ships as much as the let's take an old classic that everyone likes and then just just tweak it and make it CGI, throw it in there, a couple of Tie Fighters exploding. Ah. Okay, and what's bad about that? Okay, so this is hey, this is J.J. J. Abrams who took the Star Trek franchise and has blown it up to something made that it is popular, successful. but <sighs> successful, right? And if we're if we're we can't lie to ourselves and say that wasn't Star Wars to begin with. When, that, like, when episode four came out, back then it was just A New Hope, um, people thought it was going to be this, you know, like, what, what is this? It's not Star Trek. Like, it became a pop culture phenomenon. So it's, it's in the vein of Star Wars to remain a pop culture phenomenon. Uh, that is, unfortunately, kind of what made it tank in the one to three, episodes one to three years, as it tried to be too hip with the times. Um, but J.J. Abrams has proven that he can do the pop culture thing really well, I think. Uh, Star Trek is a controversial subject, but regardless it to is. say, it did make it popular. And yeah. one of the strengths of episodes one through three, especially episode three, is that it actually goes in some directions that we haven't seen before. In episode four, what we've seen is that we're getting reinterpretations or inside references to everything we already know. And You mean episode seven? Episode seven, yeah. yes, sorry. Yeah, no, that, that's fine. And a lot of it, yeah, they're going to play the nostalgia card to get some of the people who you know went to go see episode four when it came out in theaters. Um, but, you know, at the same time, like, I think, I don't actually think that the film's gonna be permeated with nostalgia. I think the first 10 or 15 minutes will be. And then after that, we're gonna get introduced to something new. Um, so, I don't know, I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. Uh, but I, hopefully you are, I don't know. But. Uh, I'm a robot, so I'm gonna see it regardless. But <laughs> uh, I do want to see new places. I want to see new planets. I don't want to go back to Tatooine. And there's people saying that the planet, opening planet's actually, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's not Tatooine. But it certainly looks like Tatooine. Oh, I, I, I can't imagine not being uh, Tatooine. The, uh, but that being said, um, I think regardless... If this movie's bad, I'm going to see it a thousand times in the theater because I'm a fan of the series. It's all so. that way about The Hobbit, but... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I think this is going to be a little bit better than The Hobbit movies. Anyway. I think on that, we can agree. Yeah. This will be better than The Hobbit movies. <laughs> that, so, hashtag Star Wars is better than The Hobbit. Hashtag Tuesday Tidbits. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.